So you're looking to improve your aim on Arsenal, right? You want to try to get some more headshots and you want to start getting some more wins on your matches? Well, in this video, I have five pro aiming tips that will help you become a better player in no time. Keep in mind though, if you use these tips, don't be afraid to see your current aim get worse. It's going to hurt your aim at first because you're training your hands to get used to new settings and a new sensitivity. So keep at it and you'll be improving much better for sure. So the first pro tip, you got to make sure you have a really good camera slash mouse sensitivity. So you want to set a sensitivity that's comfortable for you and you don't want to change it at all so if you use a mouse choose a sensitivity where you can do a 180 degree turn using half the width of your mouse pad you don't have to do that but it would be a good starting benchmark and then you can tweak it around until you have a comfortable sensitivity to play on then don't touch that setting at all get used to the sensitivity so that you can develop muscle memory muscle memory is where your hands are again so used to the sensitivity and so used to the movement where they're gonna pretty much be trained to react without putting much effort into it. That's when you're going to start to develop some pretty crazy mouse movement and you're going to start to get those pretty insane flick headshots just like some of your favorite Arsenal players like Tanker, Truth Behind the Lies, and even myself too. Especially with those quick scope headshots that we always do. The longer you play on the same settings, the more you'll get used to them and the better your reaction time will be, which will effectively improve your gameplay and your aim as well. Like, you got to keep in mind, some of these pros at top tier levels, not only in Arsenal but in Counter-Strike as well, they've actually been playing the same settings for literally years so you better start getting used to years as well tip number two simple enough but aim for the head yeah I know it's common sense and everybody knows that but you'd be surprised by how many people actually don't even go for headshots at all it's really important that you go for headshots because you're gonna be getting a higher damage per second due to critical damage that some of the weapons do and of course you always got the chance for one tappers with certain weapons as well so like most of your snipers the hush puppy yeah they're pretty much death sentences if you can shoot it to the head Obviously, there's going to be some weapons where you won't need to be shooting to the head because they're going to be able to do one-shot body shots, but it's always a good idea to aim for the head regardless, so that way you can start training your mind into always targeting to the head, so that way you get into a routine much quicker. It's going to be super frustrating at first because you might be used to body shots. Like, honestly, personally, me, like, I'm still used to body shots a lot, so it's still a new process to me as well, but once you start targeting to the head, you start focusing more on the head and less on the body, you're going to start to dish out some more damage and more kills in the process. Tip number three, we got a technique called pre-firing. You probably heard me say this a lot on the streams and on the videos too, but basically what pre-firing is, is when you start firing you're repping around a corner or a door when you expect somebody to be there. This pretty much only applies to automatic, so don't do this in a sniper rifle, you'll only regret it. But basically the theory behind pre-firing is that the enemy would literally have 0% chance in order to react in time to your shooting because you'd already be firing before they even see you around the corner so it's very useful in certain situations but keep in mind this doesn't mean you go around every single corner or door and just start pre-firing like randomly you gotta make sure you know for certain that their enemy is coming around the corner or that door by either pulling back and baiting the player into that path or by having a strong instinct whether or not players are spawning in there you gotta make sure that you know exactly where they're at number four it's a very important tip by the way but you gotta make sure that you're shooting in bursts instead of shooting it randomly lean automatically. This only affects to the weapons that are affected by bullet spread. Weapons like the rail gun or the nail gun, they don't really fall into this category. So basically what bullet spread is, every time you shoot, the aim cursor in the game spreads out and your next shot is going to get less accurate and the spread gets worse. So what you want to do, especially if you're using an automatic weapon in the game, is to shoot it in bursts so that we have more control over your shots. If you go fully auto, not only are you relying on pure luck, but you're also going to run out of ammo way fast than if you shot it in bursts. When it comes to certain pistols like the Windicator or the Webley, take a shot and then wait a second until the weapon spread goes down before shooting it again so that way you can guarantee 100% accuracy. I do this especially if you're trying to snipe headshots from a long range. It's totally a huge game changer if you can master this technique for sure. Last but not least we got tip number five and that is the use of aim trainers. So basically if you don't know what an aim trainer is, there are programs that can help you improve your reaction time and your accuracy for many different scenarios. 
Scenarios could be anywhere from practicing how to do headshots from distances, maybe doing some pressure aim training so you get try to target which target is the most immediate threat to you or whatnot. You know, there's a bunch of different scenarios you can do. There's a really good aim trainer that everybody's been going crazy over in Roblox and it's called Aim Stars and it currently costs about 100 Robux in order to buy access into the game. I've been using Aim Stars for quite a bit. It's a really good game in order to help practice your aim for sure. It's got literally 40 plus different shooting scenarios that's going to help you practice your aim and improve on your shooting. Highly recommend checking it out if you're very serious about improving your aim to the next level. If you don't got enough Robux for it, no worries. There's plenty of free alternatives on the internet too, just like 3daimtrainer.com or aimtrainer.io. I'll put links to those in the description of the video. They're not like over the top aim trainers, but at least it's a free alternative, you know what I mean? At least it's something better than nothing. One final super secret tip that I didn't even mention in the title, just keep playing the game honestly you know what I mean the more you play the game the better you get at it the more game sense that you try to develop because game sense is very important especially if you want to try to get better in Arsenal try to learn where the spawns are at try to learn where the routes that most of the players take all the time and then once you start to decode the game you're gonna definitely improve your game sense a lot and you're gonna start to get a lot more W's as well but yeah those are five pro aiming tips for Arsenal hopefully they helped you out a lot and go get them tiger